Okay. <coughs> so, um, now, I mean, <coughs> from, um, from uh, kinesiologic research, and also I'm a hypnotherapist, past life regression, you know, past lives come out as true. And the one thing I'd say with like phobias, with snake phobias, I mean, I don't have a snake phobia, but I don't, I don't like big spiders particularly. I don't, don't particularly like them. But um, I mean, those are, I think those are two of the collectives, two of the big ones, you know, snakes mm -hmm. and mm. probably tarantulas. And that's probably, um, that's probably a common thing to have had like terror with a snake or, or, or a spider in some lifetime. You know, they, they did, uh, I remember um, once with, uh, I forgot where it was, it was like I was reading one of those past life hypnotherapy books. Mm -hmm. And they could go back into the past lives. And one, one of these had it like a terror of water and drowned. <clears throat> and then they went, put them back into their past life and they drowned mm -hmm. in the past life, you see. So you drowned in the past life, yes. and then in this lifetime you're like terrified of being in the water. Mm -hmm. So it's like that, it's kind of like, you know, you have this extreme terror that you're mm -hmm. going to die. Mm -hmm. and who knows, you might have been bitten a few times, you see. Yeah. And you're just like a little five-year-old mm -hmm. running around and boom, mm -hmm. you got, got eaten mm -hmm. so you got bitten. So that's, but you know, the, the, I mean, but it's extreme mm -hmm. fear, extreme terror, yes. irrational terror. Mm -hmm. And um, on, a, on, a, on a practical note, mm -hmm. or just on a practical note rather than just using the familiar tools, I think um, uh, there are various therapy tools like hypnotherapy, EFT that might be useful, but otherwise, um, otherwise it is like uh, feeling the feelings. <coughs> I would feel the feelings, feel the feelings too, and also uh, let go of the thoughts around it. Spend as much time just allowing the feeling to be, because uh, mm -hmm. it's extreme uh, feeling, and uh, because it's so intense, it might take a while before it runs out. Mm. So, uh, but um, I was also, also the thing is like anyone who embarks on vigorous spiritual work and also um, <clears throat> any kind of vigorous spiritual work, like Hawkins who did past, you know, you bring up, because you're, you actually bring up a lot of stuff very quickly. So it's mm -hmm. quite common if you're doing vigorous spiritual work, because basically um, two things are happening is you want, you're basically, if you do a lot of spiritual work, you're wanting, you're making a declaration to the universe, to God, to grace, that you want to clear all the blocks to the truth. Mm. So it's like, if you, do, if you you clear one block, and you'll have a little, a few days of relief, and then it'll give you the next thing to transcend. Mm -hmm. And then, and so if you're doing a lot of spiritual, intense spiritual work, mm. uh, then you will go through a lot a lot of stuff than people who are just having a boring life. You get one, one thing after another. And mm. also, um, you can get a lot of physical illnesses. And uh, this was like, you know, if you look at the saints, a lot of them were ill a lot of the time. Mm. And it's because a lot of these, the clearing of karma uh, can be in many forms. But one of the ways is like illness. Mm -hmm. So you can have lot, lots of illnesses coming up. Uh, you know, and uh, you just clear them. Uh, also, um, the the collective, you know, will um, will um, you know the whole universe is mystically, you know, correlated. Nothing nothing happens by accident. Mm -hmm. So you know, if, but also what you hold in mind tends to you tend to bring it towards you. Mm. So if you hold like if you have a lot of because the fear or the guilt, mm. like fear or guilt, that, and you hold an image, yeah. then it will tend to bring that yeah. in, 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 uh, towards you. But, mm. but you know, as you clear that, as you clear the, as you clear the energy, uh, it'll happen. When you have too much repressed fear and guilt, like the symbolism of guilt is I require punishment. You see, the symbolism of fear. So you know. So you get all these things which reflect punishment, and we've talked about the symbolic, you know, like, um, uh, also you can have the thing of like karma coming back in exactly the way it was given to others. So, uh, you know, it's like if I was, like I've shared, you know, like I found in this lifetime that when I'd go to spiritual groups, 
I would lose my hats and scarves. So it probably meant in a past life I was a hat and scarf thief, you see. It comes back, everything comes back. Mm -hmm. It's not by accident. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a great way of just seeing that everything is, but you know, if you don't, if you don't attach a meaning to it, you just feel out the feelings. Mm -hmm.